Welcome. I'm Dr. John Gallen. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer of the Clinical Center and the NIH Associate Director for Clinical Research. Today, I'm going to tell you about two special funding opportunities we offer. One is called the Bench to Bedside Awards, and the second is a UL1 grant providing funding opportunities between an extramural investigator and an intramural investigator. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the NIH Clinical Center. Our nurses like to say there's no other hospital like it. So what makes it different? First, care is free. We don't charge patients. We never have charged patients. Second, we can travel patients from all over the country, enabling us to bring together large groups of patients with rare diseases, as well as patients who have unusual manifestations of common diseases. We have two main focuses at the clinical center. We conduct first-in-human studies, and we study a lot of patients with rare diseases. The hospital first opened in 1953, and since then has enjoyed tremendous success in discovering new approaches to disease. So let me give you a list of a few of our accomplishments. Chemotherapy for cancer was invented at the clinical center. The first treatments for AIDS were done at the clinical center. The use of lithium for depression. The first gene therapy on a disease called adenosine deaminase deficiency. And the development of blood tests for AIDS and hepatitis have enabled us to secure the safety of our blood supply. There are lots of special resources at the clinical center that enable this to happen. For example, we have an obesity unit for studying patients with morbid obesity. We have a biomechanics laboratory for studying movement disorders. We have very strong imaging capacity and indeed a MRI facility for building tomorrow's MRI machines are attached to the hospital. There are a total of 27 MRI machines currently in use or in development at the clinical center. As a result, we can study a lot of unusual problems, including behavioral dis disorders, such as mental health disease, uh, alcoholism, eating disorders, and addiction. We have a very high containment facility for studying highly infectious diseases, such as Ebola, and many, many more. So today, I want to tell you a bit more about the Bench to Bedside and Back program. We're excited about that program because it's a seeding grant to enable bringing together basic scientists and clinical investigators to do something new. The program was started in 1996 when we had a little money left over in the clinical center and Dr. Harold Varmus, who was the director of NIH, said, go for it. I think it's a good idea. It became official in 1999, and since 2006, we have been encouraging the interaction between extramural and intramural investigators. Today, these awards provide $150,000 a year in direct costs for two years to the partnerships. Research teams can share the funds any way they want, but some money has to be used by the intramural investigator. And the primary applicant must be an intramural scientist. We have a number of sources of funding for this program. Originally, when we started funding this program, we solicited funds from a number of offices at NIH, including the Office of AIDS Research, the Office of Rare Diseases Research, the Office of Behavioral and Social Sciences, Research on Women's Health, Dietary Supplements, Minority Health and Health Disparities, and some others. Since 2016, Dr. Collins, the director of NIH, has added $2.5 million a year to help stabilize the funding and have a broader reach in terms of the applicant pool. Today, the success rate is well over 20%, and we've enjoyed 
many, many successes. We want to encourage more applications from women and early career investigators. So please, ladies out there who are doing science, learn about this program and apply for awards. And similarly, early career investigators should be more engaged. Let me now shift gears and tell you about a second award program called Opportunities for Collaboration at the Clinical Center, which is a U01 grant. This program was developed to promote new intramural and extramural partnerships utilizing the NIH Clinical Center, leveraging the special resources at the Clinical Center to help promote new and better science across the country. The process was begun in 2013, and the awards consist of $500,000 a year, direct costs, for up to five years, and it can be renewed. The principal investigator on the grant is an extramural investigator, and there's an intramural co-investigator. The current request for applications stipulates something new that we just started this year, and that is that no hospital costs for routine patient care are charged to the grant, except for study drugs, which will be charged to the grant or covered by a sponsoring institute or industry. Some of the requirements and eligibility criteria include at least one intramural scientist is part of the award as a program director, principal investigator, or collaborator. At least some of the research must be conducted at the clinical center, and some patients must be seen at the clinical center. As a word of note, projects that only take minimal advantage of the clinical center, such as projects only utilizing bank blood specimens, or data will not be considered for funding. So in conclusion, I hope you will take advantage of these two funding opportunities, the Bench to Bedside Awards, which seed new projects between basic and clinical investigators, and the U01 grant designed to promote new opportunities for collaboration between the extramural community and the intramural community. More information is available on this website. Thank you very much.